Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, this is the Ico 324 on the bench. Uh, I did start on getting the caps replaced. Uh, I have the, uh, that's the selenium rectifier you see there. It's, uh, I took it out of that hole right there. I was going to work on that first, but <laughs> you know how things go, best laid plans and all that. Uh, the terminal strips that I have are not, there's not enough lugs on them, and I had to order some new terminal strips. I've got those ordered. Plus, I, I what I thought was one in 4007 diodes, it turned out to be some Zener diodes, and so I had to order some of those. Those are on the way. Um, in the meantime, I thought maybe about uh, replacing these, uh, there's one of the line caps right there, and the other one's right there in the middle. Uh, I think it's the larger one, it may be the smaller one, I'm not really sure one of them is. But anyway, I had originally thought about putting, using safety caps for those, but, you know, this thing's over 50 years old. Uh, or around 50 years old. I can't, you know, I don't know when it was, you know, they've made these for quite a few years, and this one's in pretty good shape. And those caps are fine. <laughs> I mean, nothing's happened to those, and these are, these are the old style uh, paper capacitors. So the new ones that I've got, you know, <laughs> they should be fine as long as I'm around. I mean, I can't see spending you know, the extra money for safety caps for something like this because it, it doesn't, number one, didn't get used that much and, you know, it's just like I said, it's going to be around longer than I will be, so <laughs> I can't really, I, I don't know, you know maybe the next person down the line maybe thinks of, think about doing that, but I'm, I'm not going to I bought the caps that uh, to replace those already, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace them I may do that today. I don't know. Uh, depends on how I feel. But like I say, there is the uh, main filter cap. It was. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, where is it? Oh, there's that screw right there. It was mounted that screw on the transformer. Uh, it. Uh, I was wanting to take that metal strap and use that for the new ones and just basically reform that one into an oblong shape to where it would work with these but that's no big deal. The new terminal strips I have coming are four lugs I believe with uh, ground on each end and I think they'll fit I uh, hope around between those two holes there uh, from the transformer screw there over to the, where the selenium rectifier was mounted. Uh, I believe they'll fit there. And that'll that'll make everything perfect. I mean, I'll have plenty of lugs then to uh, put the uh, new diode on and uh, I will clip lead in resistor values to get the voltage to where it needs to be. Uh, I'm figuring if I can get it down to around 120 on B+, that should be fine. That'll be in tolerance and uh, it's supposed to be 110, but like I said, if I can get it down to around 120, that should should, should work fine. So, anyway, I hear that train is coming. Anyway, the uh, also the uh, perp board came in yesterday, as as well as a replacement for my tester. It came in, but uh, so this uh, little project is going to be coming up here again. I've got to cut that down to the correct shape. Mount the transformer on there. Uh, I already bent those mounting lugs over thinking I wasn't going to use those, but uh, I'll have to redo them. I don't believe the uh, holes in there are big enough. I'll have to enlarge the holes wherever I mount the uh, transformer at, but uh, that should be easy enough to do. So, I still haven't got the uh, uh, cap cut out yet, but that's, that's an easy job there. 
so it shouldn't take long. And gluing it just takes, you know, I'll set overnight and it'll be done. So when I get this perp board cut up and, and uh, all the components mounted on it, um, then I can go ahead and proceed. I think it's going to fit, let's see, pretty darn close, just like it is. I mean, it, it, I might have to cut it down just a little bit, but uh, it's pretty close. So, I don't want to cut it any more than I have to. I mean, I hate to waste, waste stuff, but uh, I know it'll have to be split in half because it's not going to fit in that at all that wide so I'm thinking about right in half it should be just about right uh, if you look at it by the time you mount the uh, transformer on it I believe a half will be just about right so anyway it's still an update on what I'm doing so I uh, I gotta get back to the uh, <laughs> the radio too I, I, I pretty much put that off because I'm just I'm not a great solder um, and kind of, I guess, you know, got the new soldering station, maybe it'll help a little bit, but it just, I'm just not a great solder, so. Anywho, like I said, it's just a update this morning, and uh, this is the main thing. I want to get this thing done, and so I can set it back on the shelf, and it'll be ready for whenever I need it. So, thanks for watching.